Hi there, LeFevre Rue here. Welcome to Rue's Garden Guide. Today I'm going to help teach you how to identify your holiday cactus. Before we get started, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified for more plant guides to come in the future. So, tis the season when you walk into stores and you find their front entrances and garden centers filled with plants to take home for Christmas. You'll see tiny evergreens, like the Norfolk Island Pine, the beautiful and eye-catching poinsettias, and most likely you'll also see what's called holiday cactus. Now, the first question you might ask yourself is, what is a holiday cactus? It's actually a blanket term used to describe three different tropical houseplants, the Thanksgiving cactus, the Christmas cactus, and the Easter cactus. Now, the term tropical cactus may seem like an oxymoron, but these plants are actually still related to the spiny desert dwellers that you normally think of when you hear the word cactus. But these are just happen to be native to the rainforests of Brazil. The second question might be, if there are three of these things, then how do I know which one I have? The simplest method, and I use that word tentatively here, is to wait until they bloom. As each name suggests, they have slightly different times of the year that they'll naturally bloom. The Thanksgiving cactus is from late fall to early winter, the Christmas cactus is from early to late winter, and the Easter cactus is from early to mid-spring. Now, I personally dislike this method, one, because the next method is significantly more reliable, and two, if the conditions in your home aren't right, these plants may not bloom at all. As you can see behind me here, I have my own personal Christmas cactus. For the first decade that I was growing this plant, I did not get a single bloom on it. The other thing is that these blooms can be forced, and more often than not, they will be shipped out to stores with blooms already on them. The more reliable method of identification is by the physical appearance of both the plant and the blooms. Bear with me here as I go over each cactus, and a small but important note is that the pieces of the plant that I'm referring to as the leaves are actually segmented pieces of a stem. As the plant grows, the parts closest to the soil will swell and become woody and the blooms will actually form on the tips of the newest segments. The Thanksgiving cactus is by far the easiest to identify, having short, broad leaves that have teeth or spikes along the side. These are not spines like desert cactus have, they're just a unique shape to the leaf. They're also the darkest green of the three, being close in color, in my opinion, to an artificial Christmas tree. The blooms are tubular and shaped, and look like a flower within a flower. So they'll have a set of petals that folds back near the base, and then a second set of petals that folds back just above it. Now, the Thanksgiving cactus blooms have this tendency that I've seen personally to fold. The petals will fold up rather than fully around the tube, so they often look like they have wings or feathers. And I hope this will make more sense with the provided visuals. Thanksgiving cactus come in white, red, pink, and bicolor. Another interesting thing is that the Thanksgiving cactuses are usually marketed as Christmas cactus. The theory I have for this is that the true Christmas cactus, this one that I own right here, is actually a hybrid of the Thanksgiving cactus. In other forms of nature, that would be like the relation of a gray wolf to a coyote. So the Christmas cactus has different shaped leaves that look just like this. So they are long and thin, and they have the softly scalloped edges like this. In other pictures that I've seen of them, the vein here in the middle can be blushed purple. Mine has never done that personally. And the blooms of a Christmas cactus actually look exactly the same as the Thanksgivings. They just don't have that tendency to have the petals curl upward, like I've seen on the Thanksgiving cactus. And as so far as I have seen, the Christmas cactus only seems to come in white and pink. Last but not least is the Easter cactus. 
Visually, I think this one is most likely to be confused for the Christmas cactus when neither are in bloom. But it is worth noting that Easter cacti are not in the same genus as either the Thanksgiving or the Christmas, so they're not as closely related as their appearances may suggest. Easter cactus leaves are not as long as the Christmas and not as wide as the Thanksgiving, but they do have softly scalloped edges looking like they have tiny notches cut into the sides. The most notable distinction though is that the edges of the Easter cactus leaves are colored a deep reddish purple that becomes more prominent when exposed to more sunlight. Easter cactus have the most visually striking blooms in my opinion though. They lose that tubular appearance of the flower within a flower that the other two have and both sets of petals open much closer to the base of the bloom, so that when they're fully open, they look like a multi-pointed star. The Easter cactus has the widest variety of colors available, coming in yellow, peach, purple, and all of the colors mentioned before. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you'll subscribe and I would love to see your comments down below about other plants and gardening tips that you would like to see me cover in the future. Just remember, you're not cool unless you wet your plants.